Hi, and welcome to a World of Cars channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use a straight hoses to bend them in certain shape for your cars. When I was changing the cooling system, I ended up taking one of the small hoses like that and decided to replace because this hose is pretty worn out. So we want to take the straight hose and convert to something like U-shape with extended piece right here. The only part that you guys need is the heat gun, bendable springs, warm clamps, screwdriver, piece of rack. This is for smaller hoses. So for larger hoses like this, what we're gonna use, that's called the spring bender kit. You're gonna take one of the pieces and you see guys how it bends easily and you find the proper size. That should do it. That's five eighths. And then you're gonna stick all the way in to a certain position where you need it. Okay, just like that. And then you can freely bend it as much as you want. That hose will not kink. And then you can apply the heat gun on that. The heat gun will weaken that point here. Then you give a certain shape. Then you can use the clamps to give this certain shape and leave it for some time until it's gonna harden. And then you'll be able to take that spring completely out. That set right here, the spring tube bender set is about $40 on Amazon. And you know, that's about a foot long which should be enough for you to make all kind of uh, shapes at the beginning and then for longer pieces you probably would have to cut it and go from the other end for the uh, smaller hoses that i was planning to do i was taking the smallest piece right here and i believe that's one quarter and one quarter is not quite enough it's too wide so it's not going to go in that will go into the three eighths of the holes here. And as you can guess, guys, with three eighths, I already did something similar. Three eighths is too, a little too big. That wouldn't hold the cooling fluid here. I have to use something smaller. That's a little bit smaller, but the one quarter of the inch spring tube would not fit in here. So that's why I ordered those. This is the spring tube bender set for smaller hoses, such as this one. First thing first, guys, we want to cut because in the store they'll cut you. However, you want to make it even, you want to make it look nice. So just go ahead and cut that piece as straight as you can. That is pretty straight. Next thing what we want to do is find the, the tubing bender that will fit inside of the tube. And that seems to be the largest one and it fits just perfectly. And this, it's getting a little bit wider here at the end, so it's not gonna go all the way in. The most bent coming on this part. So we want to bend this way. So we won't go with the direction of the hose. It's gonna bend somewhere here. And you see guys how the spring tubing prevents that from uh, kinking the hose. So you wanna leave it just like that. You want to take the gloves because it's gonna get a lot of heat. So use uh, any gloves that will prevent you from burning yourself. Put in a max. And you start applying the heat here. And you will feel it. It's gonna start smell burning rubber. You want to go all the way around it. And you wanna put the heat uniformly. You don't wanna put the heat at what one point and i can start smell 
a burning rubber that's a good sign that a rubber is about to get to the point where it's gonna start reshaping and you just keep on doing this for a few more minutes once you heat it up just enough you want to wait until it's not too soft so it's not gonna melt once you put the piece of rag and you want to put the warm clamp just like that that will preserve the shape of the hose and the reason why we put the rag over top of this so the clamp would not leave the marks you're just gonna hold on that clamp so that's gonna give us that shape right here once you got it fixed with a clamp on the top of that you want to kind of bend that hose right here and see approximately how much you need and i can see i need it somewhere around here and i'm gonna cut it there you go you want to give it a shape something like this take that piece right here stick it and start bending this way so it's gonna bend here keep this up just like that it's gonna get softer as it's gonna get softer you can squeeze it a little bit harder I'm going to take a bigger clamp now and put it on both sides here. So let me just heat it up a little bit more. You want to take the piece of rack here. You want to take the bigger clamp and try to squeeze it here. One clamp holds the inner uh, inner band, this band, and it's in a pretty good shape here. It's pretty straight. You want to leave it for a couple hours, let it harden. Again, the reason why we put it in the rack so the clamps would not eat the rubber, the metal would not go through the rubber. So leave it for a couple hours, come back in a couple hours and reshape it again with a heat gun and just give it a final touch to it. And after a couple hours, we let it cool down. As I showed you, we put the clamps around here just to preserve the preserve the shape. And now we're ready to take it out and see what we got here. We're just gonna straighten this up a little bit here. There you go. There you go. Two pipes out. It's actually in a pretty good uh, shape that we gave it. We can cut these ends here if it's too long. Let's go ahead and try this hose and see how it fits. This used to be the old hose right here. And you see guys that the shape of that. And this is the new one. So I think that's gonna fit just perfect. Let me put it on and try it and see how it fits. That seems to be just perfect. And I think it's not going to kink here. And there you go. Should work. And after testing this hose, guys, um, I ended up having a little problem here because I shaped it up in one particular angle here. What happened is once I put it up like that, it kinked a little bit here, especially when the engine started getting hot and the liquid are uh, uh, going through this channel here. The hoses become more flexible, so it you can see actually visibly that it start kinking here. So 
how to solve this problem is i already made another custom made um hose take your pipe heat it up before you start bending actually so it actually more flexible but you would have to bend it like this in the o shape and once you're gonna get in the o shape here you're gonna put the clamp over that it goes and catches this end right here so it goes through here and on top like that and put something like a rag or napkin piece of paper or something so it doesn't the clamp does not damage the holes here okay once you put it like that heat it up even more and once it's heated up just leave for a couple hours but you see guys now i'm not bending in one particular angle i'm bending all the way around it so when you're going to take out after a couple hours it'll actually preserve that shape even now when i'm going to release it because i was holding for quite a few minutes now as i'm going to release it you'll see the shape it preserves okay see see guys but again this is the mistake that i've made i've learned it again once i've done it it looks just as good as this one i already put it in in the engine where it belongs hose is right here you should be able to see that it's not kinking anymore it goes like rounding u shape and that is how you bend your hoses without kinking it takes a little bit of practice if it doesn't work from the first time it will work from the second time trust me the more you do it the more you're familiar with that the, the easier it gets actually my first hose was a little bit kinking here my second hose was absolutely beautiful and almost as good as the oem part takes a little bit of practice guys do it yourself that part if you try to get that part that probably twenty dollars right there if you're trying to get a regional oem part again i would love to thank all my subscribers all the viewers thank you guys for watching my videos please subscribe like or dislike the video leave the comments ask questions there is a lot more content will be coming out I'll see you next time.